In this video, we'll go over the steps of utilizing the new Esther Synchronization Planner that allows us to put more than one schedule on a calendar. All right, and the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the Iowa Beef Center website, select the link that allows us to download the program. It'll download and it'll probably put it in your downloads folder on your computer. Okay, I have my downloads folder up right now. And um, if you don't see this on your computer, you should have a file explorer icon probably at the bottom of your screen. It looks like a manila envelope. If you select that, it'll bring it up and then when the box that comes up you can maybe find your downloads folder listed there. Okay, And here's my downloads folder. It's open and this is the program. Sync and then you got these two little eyes. That's the name of the file. All right. And what we want to do with this file is put it in a folder on our desktop. Okay, So on our desktop make this box small enough that you can find your desktop sometimes you can select these buttons up above here to reduce the size or you can just use your arrow and see how I got it there and just pull it in make it smaller but anyway you wanna free up some real estate on your desktop and then once you find some open spot I want you to select your desktop with your mouse button and then use your right mouse button to click again where you get this menu select new select folder and you'll get this folder, new folder and I'm going to just name my multi sync okay you don't need to name it that but the idea is just name it something that you can find it again okay and this will be yours forever alright once you got this folder created then what you're gonna do is go to your downloads folder and I'm gonna select my file here I can either select and drag it and drop it in this folder Okay, now it's in my folder. Or I could have selected it with a click, right click, then I could have selected copy, and then I could paste it in this folder. Either way, it'll work. I just prefer to drag it in here. Okay, that gets it out of my downloads and puts it where I need it, which is right here in my multi-sync folder. Alright, now I'm going to close my downloads folder because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to open up my multi-sync folder, and you can see here's my file. I can select that, double click it, it'll open it up. And notice that it opens up Excel. Okay? And when you open up Excel, a lot of times you'll get all this stuff that asks you to enable things. And here I got updates that are ready. And what I want to do is just get rid of that stuff. And when, what I'm going to do is go to the File option on my Excel menu. And I'm going to select Options. All right. And then here on this box that opens, I'm going to select Trust Center. There's a button here that says Trust Center Settings. Hit that. Now go to the selection that says Macro Settings. And be sure to enable everything and select this Trust Access to VBA Project. Then select OK. All right. And you can select OK again. Everything should be in place. Now by doing this, I won't have to ever do it again because it's already set on my computer and every time I open this program, it should work. If you don't select those things, you'll have to give it permission, enable it, and allow it to work. And I say that gets to be a little old after doing it a hundred times. So I always do it this right away in the beginning. I select those settings, save them, and it's set to go. I don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. Then, once you do that, you may need to close the program this first time and then reopen it for things to take effect and start working. Sometimes it may just work as it is. It depends on your operating system and how new and updated it is. But anyway, the point is you can come to the program now and it should work no matter what. All right, then at the bottom here you can see there's some tabs. The one we want to go to is the planner worksheet. All right. Now on this sheet we can set up multiple producers as well as multiple groups of cattle for each producer. And so when I put in a new producer, I'm going to select the new producer button. Then I can type in the name of the producer. I'm going to just put my name in. So I'm the guy that wrote the program and if you ever need to talk to me, that's the guy. My contact information is here on the program sheet. You can email me or Dr. Johnson at Kansas State, and we can probably help you with your issues. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to put my name in. I can put my address and other contact information in, 
if I'm pre preparing this for other people, I could put my information in there as well. And then on every report we print out, this information will be on there. Okay. So the main thing is you have the producer name in. The other stuff's optional. Hit save. Okay. So now I'm on the list. All right. And I can add as many producers to this list as I want. Right. So once we have our producer in our list, okay, like I showed you, he's on the list, we can then go at putting in protocols that we want to use with this producer's cattle. Okay, in this case, these are my own cattle, and I have two groups that I breed. My first group is my cow group, so I'm going to label it as cows. All right, and I have 100 head of cows in this group that I want to breed. They're boss taurus breed type, meaning that they're traditional beef cattle. The boss indicus would be those with the large ear and hump that we see in the south sometimes. All right, the system type, I'm going to do a fixed timed AI, so I'll put a 3 here. Then my synchronization protocol, all right, and those I get off the list below. And notice there's a list here for cows, and there's a list here for heifers. The top systems here, 22 and 29, these are preferred systems for cows that are fixed timed. And these are systems that work, but they're a little less preferred, maybe because they're less effective than these or that there's more labor involved. So that's why they're in the less preferred section. All right. So you can pick what you think works best for you. I'm going to use this 7-day co-sync plus cedar with fixed timed AI, number 22. So I'm going to go up here, put a 22 in. All right. The date to start breeding. I like to breed the end of June for a kind of mid-spring calf. So I'm going to go June 24th. Okay, there is my date. All right, the time of day that I'd like to breed. So if I like to breed in the mid-morning, early morning, late morning, at evening, just type in that time. I'm going to put in 10 o'clock in the morning. Notice that I type AM or PM afterwards. Okay, and be sure you have a space between the time and the AM and the PM. Okay, otherwise you won't, it won't work for you. All right, then our GnRH drug of choice that we want to use. I'll just put in number one, Sister Ellen. Our PG drug of choice, I'll just put one in for Estromate. You know, pick whatever works best. These all work really good. And uh, days from last AI to bull turn in. I'm going to give it two weeks, okay? So I, this means two weeks after this this AI session, I'm going to chase my cleanup bull in to catch anybody that recycles or did not get bred the first time. And then I can indicate an early pregnancy check date if I wish to do so. And uh, so here it's suggesting 72418. Well, I know that day is not going to work for me this year, but Wednesday will. So I'm going to just put in 731. 18 in this case. So, all right, that'll work better for me. All right, so here we go. Here's our system. It's all in. I'm going to go up above here and select Save Producer Plan below. All right, now it's saved. If I want to come back and view this at any time, I'll select the View button, and there it is. All right. So, and if I need to make any changes to it, like I realize that actually the 30th would work better than the 31st, I can just type that in and resave it, okay? And it'll keep that. Now I'm going to put a second uh, group in. This would be my heifers. I have 10 heifers that I'm keeping back to breed. I got those there indicated. Same type of breeding as the cows. I'm going to use a fixed time system as well in these guys. My synchronization protocol for the heifers is in this list. And I'm going to go with this uh, five-day system number 38. I heard it works. I'll try it this year. Put that in there. Date to start breeding. I like to breed the same day starting out because uh, just get everybody on board to help out and do things. So I'm going to try to shoot for that same day. But I know I can't breed them all at 10 o'clock like my cows. These guys I'll have to breed later in the day. I'll probably try for the evening after the heat of the day and I get my other work done. So I'm going to go for after supper here at, at 6 p.m. So I'll get those. I only have 10 of them, so it won't be too bad. 
Um, my GNRH drug of choice, I'll be using the same ones as I use on my cows so I don't get anything mixed up. Days from last day I had a bull turn in. Same as the cows. I'm going to give them two weeks. I maybe want to wait three weeks with these guys because they'll probably calve early, but uh, you never know. I'm going to just go two weeks. And then finally, my early pregnancy check date. Here I'm going to do the same as my cows. All right? So when I have the vet come, he can do everybody. So there we go. They're all in. I'll hit save. Okay, I have two protocols saved. Now if I flip over to my calendar tab, I can predict my name. All right. And then if I select load calendar, boom, there it is. Okay. So here shows my call protocol. All right. Here I have the heifers. Here I have the cows again, the heifers, more heifers because I'm giving them two PG shots that day. Here's the day I'm breeding. And here's my turn in the bull. All right, now I realize that, whoops, this is all on Sunday. I didn't want to work on Sunday this year. So what I can do is go back and redo my calendar. So in this case, I'll go back to my planner worksheet. I'll uh, bring up my my cow protocol, and instead of Sunday, I want to breed on Monday instead. I got other things to do on Sunday, so I'm not going to do it. So there, I'm going to change that one day, like that. I'm going to resave it. Okay, so that's my cows. Here's my heifers. I want to change this. I want to move it to Monday rather than Sunday. I'm going to resave that. So now when I view it, here's my cows. Here's my heifers. Everything looks good. All right. Go to my calendar page. Okay, let's redo this calendar now. I'm going to select clear. That'll clean off the calendar. I'm going to select the producer name, which is me. And then I'm going to select load calendar. There we go. So now I'm breeding on Monday. And everything looks good. Saturday's okay. I got help around that day, so that's a good day to do stuff. Here we go. And so now, with this calendar, all I need to do is go up above to my file print area. And uh, when I select print, it'll print off the calendar. It'll be three pages in this case. Okay, the first page is here. And then the second page, third page, and uh, away I go. So there's really nothing to it. So anyway, I hope the, this planner works well for you. So if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to give Dr. Johnson or myself an email or call, and uh, we, hopefully we can help you out and keep you going. Have a good day. 10-4.